five gimbal hacks every wedding videographer needs on the RS2. Weddings are super fast paced from one event to the other. So anything you can do to speed up your workflow makes a huge difference. These five hacks are things I've implemented into my workflow to save me a lot of time and create a much better result for the couple. Hack number one is sway, don't step. Stop trying to do this when getting your details and try this. Get in a comfortable squat so you're nice and balanced, frame up your shot, and instead of stepping around, just put on a tight focal length and sway left and right like so. I'm only moving the camera 12 to 18 inches left and right to get that perfect shot. And because I'm squatting, I'm very well balanced and there's no disruption to my balance, like lifting my foot up and putting it down because I'm very grounded to the floor, I'm very stable and controlled, and my shot is a result of that. Hack number two is to add movement. Adding movement to any shot just helps bring the shot to life, whether that's drastic movement or just subtle movement. Here's a static shot of the bride and the groom walking towards the camera. And here's the same shot with movement. Much better. And a bonus hack, glide past something to create depth. It really helps separate your subject and bring your shot to life. Hack number three is using an extension pull. Now something kind of fun I like to do is attach an extension pull to the bottom of my gimbal. This is the DH10 gimbal extension pull from Amazon. It's a very cheap accessory and can do some pretty cool results. So all I do is detach the tripod from the bottom of the RS2 and attach the extension pull like so. And you can even put the tripod back on the bottom if you want, just some more grip. Now it only gives you an extra foot, maybe a foot and a half. So for this shot especially, it has a really cool atmosphere, right? And it'd be sweet to fly a drone through it, but we're not gonna do that. So instead, to kind of get that same POV, we're using this extension pull, lifting it high in the air, and creating some pretty cool movements with it. I'm gonna have this on the 14 millimeter, which is about a focal length that you use on a drone. All right, so first, let's show you the shot without the extension pull, okay? We'll just do a subtle push in here pretty fast. Again, it looks great. This isn't to say that you can't not use this. This is to say, here's a fun little hack to improve or add a new dimension to your shot. So this time, I'm gonna start way up here and then bring it down. Here I go. Beautiful. Hack number four is the remote joystick. Using Raven Eyes and the Ronin app, I can actually control the gimbal from my phone. And honestly, I didn't think I'd use this feature a whole lot, but it's become a crucial part of my workflow. When I'm shooting a ceremony, I like to have one camera capture the entire ceremony at length. And so what I usually do is have one camera just sit down in the center of the aisle of the ceremony on a wide lens to capture the entire ceremony scene from start to finish. It's out of everybody's way and it looks great. And I don't wanna just sit here in the middle of the aisle watching this camera. I'll usually wanna go check on my other cameras, but sometimes when I set it down, I have to fix my composition. So instead of hovering over my camera here in the middle of the aisle where everyone can see me, I can do it from the back of the room using the Ronin app. So now that ceremony's happening and I can see my live feed from my phone in the back of the room. And if I don't like my composition, which I, I don't, I can enable the virtual joystick and control my composition from my phone back here to get exactly how I want. And sometimes during the ceremony, there's some boring parts and if you don't wanna go touch your camera, I can just kinda get some detail shots. Like right here, for example, there's this beautiful ceiling of the venue and so I can just hit record. My camera will start recording. I can just slowly do a movement to show off the ceiling of the venue. And then a really cool feature if I wanna recenter it back to where it was, I just hit these arrows and it recenters successfully. Hack number five is the active track. Again, using Raven Eyes with the Ronin app, you can draw a square on the object in your frame you want to track, and then the RS2 will keep that subject's composition while you get your shot. That way you can just focus on the movement and the RS2 will do the rest of the work. So we have a beautiful shot of the couple's rings right here, and what we're gonna do is get our composition, and then on our Ronin app, draw a square around the rings, and that will lock in that composition as we do our movement. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, this is the one. And you'll see no matter what direction I go, the Ronin will compensate for my movement. So if I tilt up or tilt down or go forward or go backward, left or right, the RS2 will automatically tilt the axis that it needs to to keep the same exact composition. But that is it for my five gimbal hacks on the RS2. If you guys have any further questions, please let me know.